Hello everyone, I'm super excited today because Microsoft has given me a sneak peek at OneNote for iPad's upcoming redesign in the form of a beta version of this newly styled OneNote. As you can probably tell, I'm a huge fan of OneNote, Microsoft's note-taking app. I love it and it is honestly my favorite way to take notes. So let's check out its future user interface in this Wear Notes video. In the OneNote for iPad beta, the big new feature, the redesigned interface, is focused on how the organization of your notes is presented to you. Your notes are still organized in the same way, meaning within a section, which could be within a section group, which is then stored within a notebook. However, as you'll notice, these different types of grouping are now all placed together on the left side of the screen, where they smoothly slide out when you need them and away when you don't. Before, the various sections of your notebook were placed near the top of the screen in the form of tabs, and you had to open an overlaying sidebar to switch notebooks. The OneNote for iPad Beta's new navigation area also lets you browse through the sections of multiple section groups at the same time. I find this extremely helpful because I really dislike how the current OneNote only allows you to look through one section group at a time. Additionally, you can collapse and expand your section groups to either narrow or broaden the collection of sections you're looking at. I really like OneNote for iPad's new design and I definitely want to see it released in a stable form. It makes it much easier to find your notes and quickly switch between notes even if they're in a different section group or a notebook. Lastly, before I end this video, I've got to tell you how I got invited to use the OneNote for iPad Beta, so that maybe you could get invited in the future if you're interested. I'm not sure if Microsoft is still accepting people into this particular OneNote Beta, but again, there's always the future. So the first thing that you should do is follow Office Insider, which is basically Microsoft's Office Beta program on Twitter. That is what I did, and then on June 16th, Office Insider tweeted, and I quote, calling all hashtag Office Insiders on iPhone and iPad, want early access to brand new hashtag OneNote features? Find out how and a link. This link goes to a page on the Microsoft Community website with information about the OneNote beta for iOS. The instructions on the website are basically to send an email to OneNote Labs at Microsoft.com that includes your email address and details about your iPhone or iPad. There's a specific way Microsoft wants you to tell them about your device and your email. You have to do it by typing your device name and underscore, your device generation and underscore, your device's screen size and underscore, and then whether or not you have an Apple Pencil. I followed these email sending instructions on June 16th, which was the day that Microsoft first began looking for people to test the OneNote for iPad beta. The next day, I got a reply from the product manager of OneNote on Apple devices. This same person emailed me on August 2nd, announcing that the OneNote for iOS beta was becoming available. Later that day, TestFlight, Apple's iOS beta testing service, emailed me with a link to get the OneNote beta. That's how I got the OneNote for iPad beta. Good luck to you getting it. Keep in mind though that Microsoft did say on its page about joining the beta that they were trying to find between 50 and 100 people to use the OneNote beta. Also, in this OneNote beta, you don't have access to the redesign until you tap settings in the sidebar and turn on enable experimental features. Don't forget to do that. Well, I hope you found this to be helpful. Thanks for watching this Wear Nose video. If you enjoyed it, I'd be super happy if you'd subscribe to the Wear Nose YouTube channel over here for more tech-related videos. Also, feel free to watch the Wear Nose videos below me.